So we're playing Buried, but there's going to be 20 perks on the map, bro. Most of which are going to be completely custom. So I'll make sure to explain what every single one does. But yeah, we need to start making our way down here. That way we can find these bad boys. Oh, look, bro. We got our first custom perk. Let's go ahead and buy this. This is a quick revive. So if you're on solo, you can actually get revived, bro. So I think that's a really cool custom perk. I hope that you all think it's really cool too. But yeah, let's uh, get a free 1,000. But I'm not going to buy you. I don't like you. I want to come down here. I think there's a custom perk close by. Oh, right here, right here. So it looks like Vulture's Aid, but it is not. Okay, so Bloodthirst, it says gain health when killing zombies. And you can have a maximum of 320 health. Uh, that seems super overpowered. I wonder if that lasts for the rest of the game or if it goes in like intervals like I kill a few zombies and I have it for a certain amount of time. It doesn't really specify because if we have 320 health, that would be like six hits till we go down. Maybe more. Holy crap. But yeah, once we get the points, we'll go ahead and grab that to see how it actually works. So yeah, if this video seems interesting to you, make sure to leave a like and comment and also subscribe i would really appreciate it we're gonna go ahead and get this guy out of here i kind of just want to get a box hit get something random oh well that is pretty random <laughs> so most of y'all probably noticed that i don't have the pink camo anymore i really like it but on wonder weapons like this mark ii it's like super bright and it can get very annoying so yeah i decided to take it off but I do have a surprise for when we pack a punch our weapons. I actually added a pretty cool camo to this map. So definitely stick around and you'll find out what the camo is. I think this mod actually added these little hit markers. I don't remember the hit markers being in Black Ops 2, but I could be wrong. The Mark II is really good, but we can't really build points with it. So I'm not really going to use it right now. I want to at least go up here, open this crap up and get this booze. Oh, look, look, look. We got another custom perk, Downer's Delight. So that's going to be pretty pointless on solo. All it does is longer bleed out time, and you can actually use the weapon that you died in. Like, if I go down with the Mark II, then I'll be down, and I'm able to use the Mark II when I'm down. So it could, it could go for, like, any assault rifle, any sniper. If you go down, you can use those weapons. Uh, I don't know. We're going to have to start using this crap. Um, excuse me, zombie. I'll try to get headshots, but I'm not the best at aiming. Yeah, you know what? Let, let's go ahead and get another weapon. Hopefully, it's something we can get points with. That is not something we can get points with. I don't even want to get that, bro. I guess I should have just drew the AN-94 like every single other game. I was trying to be different, okay? Okay, well, this is kind of annoying, but we still don't have enough for anything. Let me try to get a little bit of points with this. Okay, we have access to Jug, so we'll definitely try to get that next. I was going to get the other perk, but I didn't realize it would take so long. I, I don't know why I went for the box first. Um, What were we trying to do? Oh, yeah. I need to turn on the power. Yeah, I'm like very forgetful sometimes when I play this game. I like zone out. What the heck, bro? Just reload the weapon. What the frick? Yeah, I can be very forgetful. Um, I actually just got prescribed Adderall. Uh, it's for people who have ADHD or ADD. I don't know exactly which one I have. It, it's something like that. But yeah, hopefully it starts helping me out a little bit. <gasps> uh, because most of the time I'm thinking about so many different things. And it's hard to focus in on one thing that I'm doing. So yeah, that's why sometimes when I'm playing, I might just change the subject randomly. Ah, don't kill me. Okay, I lied. I just want to see this custom perk, bro. That's the, the whole point of this video is to get custom perks, so... This perk grants the player a small amount of health when killing a zombie. Okay, okay. So I can just explain it when I buy the perk. I didn't realize it was going to pop up on the screen like that. The only thing that... Ah! The only thing that seems a little off with this mod is the perk icons are terrible. Like, we just got the skull with the knife. But, I mean, it's not really going to affect too much. I probably definitely clickbaited the... Oh my gosh, bro. This thing just doesn't reload. You're like done with the animation and then you still have to wait like an extra second. I didn't realize how bad that was. But yeah, I probably clickbaited the thumbnail a little bit. I put better looking perk icons because if I would have put these perk icons, then it who's going to click on this? 
But yeah, I could do this on pretty much every other Black Ops 2 map besides Mob of the Dead and uh, Die Rise. I don't know why those two are left out, but I don't know. This could be really fun if I can actually start getting perks. Holy crap, man. Oh, let me go get my Juggernog. Bro, I want to get rid of this weapon. I'm so annoyed. That's so annoying. Okay, I'm going to get this guy because I want an actual good weapon. Ah, I don't have enough time. You probably never heard anybody say they're annoyed by getting the uh, Ray Gun Mark II, but I definitely am. Can I get this free 400? Ah, the double point's going to go away before I get it, bro. <gasps> oh, I got it. Yeah, yeah. I kind of just want the PDW. I could get the A94, but this might get us a little bit more points so we can actually test out more of these custom perks. I don't want to get Downer's Delight just yet because, like I said, it's pretty pointless right now. But I think there is a custom perk up here somewhere. Oh, yeah, we got one right here. We got Rampage. Oh, 10,000. Yeah, we're definitely going to save up for that. Might as well. I'm pretty sure that's a really good one, bro. If it's going to be 10,000. Okay, I kind of don't like it over here. Not a little bit. Not a lot of bit. I hate it. Quite a bit. <laughs> bro, I want to get over to the saloon. I don't know why I came over here. It's probably because I placed the PDW here, but we have quite a bit of ammo. I didn't really notice anything with this custom perk that we bought. It's supposed to increase our health after killing zombies, but I, I don't know. We're barely getting hit. So we might notice once we get trapped, but hopefully we won't get trapped anywhere for a while. Oh, crap, bro. There's one up there. <laughs> it's got the stamina up machine. That's so funny. Oh, PhD flopper. Boom. Oh, my gosh, bro. The perk removes explosion and fall damage, and we get to explodey. <laughs> no need for that perma perk. Screw that. Jumpity boom. I looked up the description of every perk before I started this video, but I did forget most of them. So yeah, this is going to be a surprise for both of us. Let's see what it gives us. The perk gives insta kills for 30 seconds upon killing a zombie. Cool down for five minutes. Bro, every five minutes we get an insta kill on top of the regular insta kill cycle. That is actually crazy. Look at this. Oh, wait, what? Okay, well, it, it didn't seem to work right then. Maybe we have to wait five minutes. Because you can see it's the middle perk, and it kind of looks faded out. Maybe I have to wait five minutes after buying it. I assumed you would be able to get its first use as soon as you bought it, so that is kind of weird. I want to get that nuke, but no, we need to open up this map, bro. Where is the booze? Where is the booze? Gimme, gimme. Come here, buddy. Okay, that should be good enough. Plus 640, not bad. I do want to go look for more perks. Now, I do have screenshots of where all the perks are, but I kind of just want to look around for them first. Ammo regen for 12,000. I mean, that one's pretty self-explanatory. We just get ammo regenerated in our weapons. Bro, can I get enough for speed cola? Yeah, yeah. That is very necessary. Need me my speed of cola. So yeah, guys, I actually wanted to thank each and every one of y'all for the recent support. I don't know how many of y'all actually noticed, but we're at 920 subscribers. And 920 is just, it's just mind-blowing, bro. I don't even know how to put it into words. I just really appreciate every single person, all the people that are constantly leaving comments. Like, there's a good five or six of y'all that comment, like, every few videos. And I definitely recognize your name. And even the people that have never commented. Uh, uh, oh, that was close. Yeah, even the people that haven't commented at all. Yeah, I really appreciate you. Like, you don't ever have to comment. Just, just watch my videos. Hopefully, I can make your day at least a little better. But yeah, before we get too high up in the rounds, we need to start buying more perks. I think I went through like two or three rounds. And I barely talked. I just wanted to build up points. That way I can start buying more perks and not bore y'all too much. I mean, I could get the regen one. We obviously know what regen is going to do. And that's 12,000. So that actually burned through all of our points. I do not really want to do that. Dang, I, I kind of blanked. What the heck am I trying to do? Uh, we're trying to get the booze. Okay, okay. I think I'm confused because I, I don't know where the booze is. Oh, there you are, Mr. Booze. I might actually buy some booze. I think it's only 1,000, but I want to make sure to get this well. Okay, nice, nice. So this will actually open up a portal when we get into the maze after going through the witch's house. 
I'm sure most of y'all know that, but for the ones that have no idea how this map plays, or maybe you forgot, I wanted to make sure to lock the box down before I forgot. But yeah, we got another booze. And come on, Leroy, let's make our way downtown. I know people will do this like at a super far distance, but I don't ever want to waste booze. It's just super irresponsible to waste booze. And I would probably just end up missing anyway. So we are going to go in here. I think there's a custom perk. Rampage ability activated. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, I, I can't tell. I think I lost 2000. Yeah, that was just regular double tap. Rampage effect finished. Bro, that kind of sucks. It got used in the witch's house. The one place we really don't need it to be used. Okay, we made it through. I don't think we actually lost much. Maybe 2k, but that's totally fine. And we do get a random perk. Oh, we got stamina up. Nice. I was kind of nervous that it was going to give us one of the custom perks, but I don't know if that's programmed into the mod. So that I'm totally fine with that. Okay, right here. Executioner's Edge. Okay, bro. So this one actually makes it a one knife hit to like round infinity. So we could be on round 100 just knifing zombies. So I kind of want to get this. It's 15,000. Holy crap. These custom perks are expensive. Okay, so following the cracks might actually, it's not the play. I was going to say it, it, it probably is, but no. This is the way, bro, and there's no cracks over here. So whoever came up with the uh, follow the cracks, they are uh, completely lying. You freaking liar. Okay, bro, the moment of truth. Look at this. We're going to put this bad boy in there. What? You know what this pack-a-punch was supposed to be? It was supposed to be the mob of the dead camo. I did exactly what the mod said to do, man. I feel so bad now. I like kind of hyped it up at the beginning of the video. There, there was just no way to test it. And I've put in mods several times before, so I really thought it was going to work. So yeah, this map, it was supposed to have the pack a punch camo for Mob of the Dead. And if I play Mob of the Dead, it's supposed to have the Origins camo. So that would have been so dope, man. I'll have to try to figure out what the heck I did wrong. Okay, let's get out of here. <gasps> ah! Oh my gosh, bro. Why were you in? Why are you in the tunnel? Bro, this is kind of creepy. I thought they spawned behind me, not from the tunnel, bro. I know it's taken me a while to get these custom perks, but as you've seen, they're all expensive. I didn't realize there was so much. I could have went in and changed each of the prices, but I don't know. I didn't think it'd be this bad. It just makes it more of a grind for me. For y'all, I'm just going to be skipping through and showing y'all the perks. I'm not going to bore y'all with three rounds of me just blasting the zombies up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and buy Downer's Delight, even though it's completely pointless. Yeah, this perk will increase players' bleed out time by 10 seconds and current weapon is used in the last stand. So when we go down... Ah, I didn't mean to get that. Yeah, when we go down, we're going to be using this PDW. Okay, bro, there's actually a perk that looks super interesting. Oh, look, we got Vulture's Aid. Nah. That's not the one I was talking about. Headshot Mayhem. Bro, 30,000? Oh my goodness. Why are they so expensive? I'm just going to save up the, the 30K because then we can... Oh, oh, Rampage ability available. Look at this. Oh, look at this, bro. We just knife in the zombies. I didn't even pick up an insta-kill. Heck yeah. I mean, it takes forever to cool down, but it is cool. We get an extra insta-kill here and there. I mean, I'll go ahead and get Vulture's Aid because I think you can pick up points here and there and ammo. It's only 3k. It set us back a little bit, but that's fine. I actually don't know if they'll be all 20 perks. There's one perk that says take no lava damage, and that's really not going to affect us on this map. So I don't I don't know if that's going to be on here. And I guess if it is, we'll, we'll buy it, but it's obviously not going to make a difference. But that would be super cool on like town and transit and stuff. Take no fire damage. That would definitely make those maps way easier. But I want to be invincible to fire. Oh, crap. Excuse me, Leroy. What the heck are you doing? Oh, no. I freaking hate this Mark II, bro. No way I'm dying right now, right? Okay, we're getting jug. Ah, uh, we don't have double tap, so... It's not going to shoot that fast. And we don't have speed cola, so we're not going to be able to reload fast. Got this stupid reload animation. Dang, bro. I can't believe I went down. I had so many perks. So, you know, on Black Ops 3, you get like crazy overpowered custom perks on there. But it seems like these perks are somewhat balanced. Like, yeah, we get a free insta kill here and there. But that's not like game breaking. And the perk that gives you infinite damage on your knife. I mean, that's really good, but... 
It's not going to save you. Oh, crap. I don't know why I went in here. I was looking for the way to quick revive, but this is not the way. I shouldn't have pack a punch this Mark II. It was kind of pointless. We should have just saved the five grand. Okay, I think there's actually a perk that I want. It's somewhere in this room or in this house. It's only a screenshot of the perk. No, I cannot afford to lose. Bro, what are you doing? Oh, that's ridiculous, bro. Why'd they come behind me? I, I seen a bookshelf on the screenshot, so it should be up here somewhere. I don't remember seeing it the first time we came through here, but it's a really good perk and I think it'll help us. Bro, it's not here. Where the heck is it? Maybe it was on the way out? Bro, I don't freaking know. What other places has a bookshelf? No! Why, why are they still coming after me? Oh, we got a free perk at least. Okay, I'm not too mad about losing another 2k. Oh, bro, I think it's actually right over here. No, that's electric cherry. That is, that is really good. I don't know if I want that over this other perk, though. Oh, my gosh, bro. So look at this crap. It's in this back room. I didn't know where another bookshelf was, but yeah, it's right here. But yeah, bro, Widow's Wine. Holy crap. The perk damages zombies around the player when they are hit and slows down zombies. Yeah, look at that crap. It doesn't work exactly like Widow's Wine, but maybe it's better. Is it like more consistent? We don't have to wait for us to get the Widow's Wine grenades. It just goes off like every time. It is weird that they couldn't use the actual Widow's Wine perk icon because it's just an actual Widow's Wine. Like they could have just used the perk icon, right? Okay, you know what I think would be really, really helpful right now? This uh, ammo regen. We're actually at 35,000, so I could get this one, but I don't want to run out of ammo. So yeah, ammo regen is 12,000. Does it just immediately start going up? The perk will slowly generate the player's ammunition and grenades. It's not a lot, but I mean, it's better than nothing, I guess. It reloads your weapon that you're not holding. Okay, that's really good. Excuse me, zombies. Please don't trap me. I would actually be so upset if I go down again. I didn't realize this would be so much of a challenge. It's like we got a ton of custom perks and no perk limit. So... <laughs> I figured this was going to be like a, a somewhat easier video. I wasn't even considering this a challenge, but it, it almost is. And it's mainly because all the perks are super expensive. Okay, I'll stand in the green mist. Try to build up a bunch of points. Okay, we can finally buy this perk, bro. Headshot mayhem. This perk has a chance to create an explosion upon a headshot kill as well as double damage. Okay, so I had to look it up to finish what the heck it said. And it says that we get extra points and damage for each kill or each headshot. That was actually a super long description. I couldn't read it fast enough. Uh, that's an okay perk icon. If it was actually made to look more like a perk icon, the little headshot symbol is kind of cool. But I think we're getting double points for headshots. But I... Oh no, there was so many zombies. Move! Oh my gosh. Yeah, I think we're getting double points for headshots. That is insane. Oh, the explosion. Okay, so right now we have Headshot Mayhem. We have the Regen Ammo. And we have Widow's Wine. So that's the three custom perks we have. And now we have Electric Cherry. Only 3k. Yeah, I think there's actually only 11 custom perks on here. I thought it was a little more. I think Transit and Town will have the most. That would actually make us have 18 perks total. So uh, I didn't clickbait too bad. I'm uh, still going to put down 20 plus perks. I feel like the plus symbol just, it just makes it look better. And it's okay to clickbait a little bit. It's not like I put, I get a hundred. Oh my gosh. I wanted to switch to my ray gun, but I couldn't remember if I had it reloaded. And I didn't want to go down again like I did last time. Yeah, it's okay to clickbait a little bit. I can't be putting, we got a hundred plus perks and I had five weapons at once. It's nothing crazy like that. I, oh my gosh. Please, please, please. No, 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 no. Bro, 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 bro. No, we're so close. Oh my gosh, bro. I was trying to find a, a little way out and we barely made it. You know what? I want to get this other custom perk. This one right up here. It's going to give us more damage that we can take. Okay, some of these perks are super confusing how to find. This one's called Guarding Strike. This perk grants invulnerability upon killing a zombie. 
cooldown five minutes. Okay, that's a pretty good one. Okay, hopefully we can survive this round because we can pretty much get the rest of the perks or pretty close. Oh my gosh, I did not want that nuke. Yeah, we only have four more perks to collect. But yeah, there's the knife one that's like 15k. There's that insta-kill one. I think it's called Rampage. That's like 10k, so we need like 25k. And then we have Downer's Delight. That's only 3k. Oh, right here, right here. We have Thunderwall. 20,000? I did not expect Thunderwall to be 20,000. Bro, that is so dumb. I mean, we'll get it because it's kind of like a safety yeah, the perk launches nearby zombies into the air when players hit. We all know what Thunderwall is. I wonder how often it goes off, though. Now we need, like, 30k. Oh my gosh, man. I just want to see the screen filled up with perks, bro. That's all that matters. Okay, so the Witch's Light is on. So we should be able to go and get a free perk. I'm sure it's just going to be the standard perks. So that'll save us a little bit of points. Back up, bro. What? Why'd you come from over there? Oh my goodness. That being a little sneaky. Holy crap, there's got three of them. Oh, you see that bullet penetration? That was like three in a row. Oh, yes. Now we have this. I just said, now we have this, assuming y'all knew what I was looking at. <laughs> but yeah, it did give us stamina up, and we can get this Executioner's Edge. Oh, it gives you extra points for knives. Look at this. 130 and 250. So what? Is, what is that? Like 380 per kill? I mean, it's kind of dangerous to knife, but I don't know. That's going to give us a ton of points. Back up, witch. You stupid witch. All right, I'm just going to sprint for it, bro. Hopefully there's not... Ah! I don't remember them coming from way up here, but I guess that's their normal thing. Yeah, look at all our perks, bro. 15 perks. Ah, no, 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 no. Go away, zombies. Oh, bro, this is nice. Our, per our points are just flying up. So yeah, we have a headshot perk that gives us a crap ton of points for a headshot. And on top of that, the knife perk. Why is there so many walkers? I think that's the Widow's Wine. If they get affected by the Widow's Wine, they're just walkers forever. I mean, that's like a, a good and a bad thing. They could definitely get us trapped. But that also means there's not going to be as many zombies coming at me at once. Oh, the Guarding Strike activated. Look at this. You can't hurt me. <laughs> that's so cool. That's the first time it went off this entire time. I got that like last round or the round before. Okay, we just got like 20,000 that round. Holy crap. Okay, I guess we can grab our normal mule kick. I don't really care for it. Oh yeah, we need Downer's Delight. Grab that. Yeah, it's just the last stand perk. There should be one more, I think. Where the heck was it? Oh yeah, bro, it's right here. 10,000 for the Rampage. And this is the insta-kill one. Okay, we have every single perk. 18 freaking perks, bro. We'll go one round with all these perks, but yeah, this video has gone on way too long. I'm at like an hour and 40 minutes. It'll definitely be way shorter for y'all, but yeah, if I didn't make that stupid down earlier, it wouldn't have took this long. Yeah, that put us back like over 20,000 because I was buying expensive perks. But yeah, I think I kind of like these way better than the Black Ops 3 perks. They are really good, but it's not like crazy overpowered. Like I was saying earlier, you get a couple of the custom perks on Black Ops 3, you're like invincible. But I'm sure if we get trapped, we're still going to die on this game. So yeah, you can have a ton of custom perks, but still have somewhat of a challenge. Oh yeah, we red screened, bro. That took like two seconds. Well, this is actually a video where I don't die unless like I do it on purpose. Usually my videos end when I die when I'm doing a challenge, but luckily we survived. I could definitely do this on more maps. Like I said, Die Rise and Mob of the Dead, for some reason, can't use these custom perks. So I guess Transit and Origins and pretty much all the survival maps. Yeah, Farm and Bus Depot will actually be able to have Pack-A-Punch. So that might make it a little more interesting. If y'all want to see that, just leave a comment down below. But yeah, if you did enjoy this video and you're brand new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, leave a like and comment what you thought of this video. It would really help the channel out. And yeah, hopefully everybody has a fantastic day. And I'll see y'all in the next one.